Hello community, so great that you are back. Today we have a new test of the GLM 4.5, the 355 billion active 32 billion free trainable per meter GLM. Plus we compared to the air, the little brother with its only a 106 billion active 12 billion parameter. GLM 4.5 end of July 2025. Reasoning, coding, and agentic abilities. This is exactly what I will test it here. Plus, here you have the performance here of 12 benchmark accumulated. And you see, GLM, they say to themselves, hey, we are almost at Grok and O3 level. We are better than Claude for Opus. We are better than O4 Mini I. And even the little brother, the Air, is better than Claude for Sonnet in selected benchmark, as published by ZAI. This is definitely something I have to have a look at. Here you have for the reason that we're going to test here, the detailed parameter here of the test as published by ZAI. You find them on Hugging Face, you find the model on Hugging Face. They have here GitHub, everything is available. But let's jump into my testing. But you know, a benchmark is net. But you have to do your own benchmarks. So let's have a look at GLM 4.5 compared to GLM 4.5 Air. We just input here the standard test here that already checked all the other models. So let's have a look how good those two models are, how they perform, and if we can see their reasoning traces. As always, if you have here a reasoning model, you see currently they are generating. So here we are now. Yes, we have a generation. About five minutes later, you see GLM 4.5 is already working step-by-step -step state table. Yes, it's this is what I wanted it to provide me here. So I can see each reasoning step in detail. Then the final totals and the score, the proof of optimality. I want to achieve a Pareto optimality, as you can see. It explains here where it acquired the green code card, the red code card. Reaching here the floor, yeah. Total of minimum presses is seven to get the codes, one to get to a specific floor. Resources and code, very nice conclusion. This nine, wait, wait, wait a second, so where are we are. This is a very short sequence. This is a very good result. Absolutely, we have ABC sequence. Yeah, this is a deeper reasoning step. Beautiful. We have it floor 29. We go to floor 50. Floor A would be okay. There's something, yeah. Oh, air comes up. Okay, let's have a look at air. Step by step state table, yes, beautiful, also excellent output, exactly in the form, even with more explanation. Have a look at this. Hey, here we have the exit, yes. 10 presses, excellent result, never mind. So both methods have beautiful delivered here, nine step and 10 step solution. This is a very good model here for deep reasoning. But let's go a little bit deeper, reaching here the goal for 50. Total of minimum presses is seven for the codes. One gets to the floor 29. 29 is a magic floor. And then one to trigger here the exit. This is nine presses. Mathematically impossible to achieve a goal in fewer than nine presses. The code count. Energy package management. The tokens. Yes, it finishes with two tokens. This is beautiful. This is Pareto optimal. No, we know there's an eight press solution. But for the first run of this new model, absolutely impressive. Conclusion. Air tells me, wait a minute, where, wait a minute, where's air? Wait a minute, eight button presses. And then I have the code acquisition finished. Okay. Acquired here the red code card. I'm in the floor 29. This is a correct statement. And then I have an exit. I have an emergency exit button. Yes, this is correct. So now, oh yeah, perfect. Summary result, nine presses to 10 presses. This looks rather similar. But there is a difference. Have you spotted it? Look here, on the left side, step nine is A. A is not a correct solution. How is this possible? Exit is a correct solution. So here, the air, the little one, has, in my mind, for my test, the correct exit. Because I have multiple press button presses, so multiple buttons, and then I have here an exit button. So while he has A, on the main model here, I do not understand here. Is there any explanation here in the text? Let me have a look. No, reaching the floor 29. No, emergency exit. Yeah, it's invoked emergency exit. Yeah. So why does it press the A button? OK, 
KFLOOR 29 triggering the exit requires one action. Instead is that any button present for what, while holding the required calls will trigger the exit. The most logical interpretation of the word instead. Wow. So you see, this is linguistic. This is where any eye fails. The eye says, hey, my most logical interpretation of your human word instead is I can press any button on the floor 29. Wow. And the air makes it correct. The air has not the intelligence to come up with a most logical interpretation, but follows here as a smaller model. Look, exactly my instruction. We create a logic error given that the big operator creates a logic interpretation of one singular word instead. I have never seen this so clearly as here. Okay, so I have now two sequences. Let's do a validation run. Let, let's see what if we compare now the results, if there is now any difference. So I say validate here this sequence. So validate this particular sequence. You see we have here the ABCB sequence. So this is the one from the air side. And now let's have a look how both models evaluate now the air solution. So conclusion here from air, this is legal and achieves all goal. And if you look at the left side, why this sequence fails. Incomplete goal, missing exit trigger, no shorter path to 50. So <laughs> they both mal disagree. So air says my solution air is correct and GLM 4.5 says the air solution is incorrect because the original sequence here given is invalid. Absolutely. We have two models, identical models, contradicting each other solution. I'm loving it. But we have to go down. We have to understand what is it. Look there, it ends with a B. But the validation run will provide clarity. Yeah, we have to wait two, three minutes. I just skip here the waiting process, no? So you see the right side tells us, yes, everything is great. And the left, the main element tells us it's wrong. Great. So let's have now the validation run again. Interesting. Look, it's the left side tells us it's wrong. And the right side tells me, yeah, it's legal and achieves all goal in eight presses. So they contradict each other solution. Absolutely fascinating. Use a 9 press variant to trigger the exit. The given sequence is invalid. And here on the right side, this is a legal and achieves all goal in eight presses. So the eight press model says my eight presses are correct. And the nine press variant says, no, it's not valid. So they dig into their logic. This is interesting. So even if you give here the solution path of the other model, they stay to their argumentation. Yes, of course. Because if in their reasoning they start to have the most logical interpretation of a single word, let's do another run. Wow, this is sensitive to each and every single word. Unbelievable. Let's do this again, just to see. Wow, this is a nice GLM 4.5, beautiful presentation. But here on the right hand side, both sequences are identical valid. What? This is nonsense. No. Why suddenly both sequences are identical? Air made a mistake. Air has now, look, both sequences are identical. No. Look, on the left side, you see here this sequence with four A's. Sequence two is A, B, A, B, and then A, B, C, B. So they are absolutely not identical. Air made an error in the transcription. If I say compare the last two sequences I've given you, and it fails to come up with the last two sequences, the air model. Wow. But you look, the GLM 4.5 is really excellent in its presentation. It says, look, I'm the right model. The other one is the wrong model. I'm absolutely right. I reach my goal and the other fails the primary objective. <laughs> wow. Real nice presentation. Okay. You see the air doesn't even get it what I want. Interesting. So the 4.5 has an extreme logical interpretation. Wait, in the air has now a post press special action emergency exit. What? The air comes now with a solution that is outside of the solution that it just found. 
an additional solution. I love the reasoning traces of those machines. It's nuts. So, sequence is optimal, it satisfies all constraints. Okay. But here the main model tells us the sequences are different and each is different. So let's do now a comparison. And I specify now the two sequences so even now the air can understand. So now I'm interested if the air is now able, since I've given it explicit sequence, to come up with an identical evaluation like the Big Brother GLM 4.5. No. <laughs> Sequence 1 is invalid due to an out-of-bound move and fails to achieve any goals. Sequence 2 is optimal. So AIR says my AIR solution is optimal and the sequence 1 doesn't know that it's coming from the big brother GLM 4.5 is invalid. Let's look at the left side and let's look at what GLM 4.5 the big brother is doing. Final verdict. Sequence 1 is the only valid solution of the two. <laughs> Sequence 2 is invalid. They contradict each other. Side by side. A contradiction of almost identical model. GLM 4.5 air versus GLM 4.5. Look. Sequence 1? No. Red. Never accomplished. Never completed. No way. Unbelievable. What if... Wait, there was, what if we fix it? Wait, the 4.5 tells me now. Okay, each model says, hey, my, my solution is the only right solution. Green and red. What? We have only red? Air missed another code card. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. So air missed the, tra the transcribe. Now air missed to have the code card because we acquired the code card. Okay, air has... Massive problems in multi turn question and reasoning steps. But look here, tells us hey, the press of the button A at step 9 triggers an illegal move. So, see the latest A here is in the interpretation of A invalid because it brings us to floor 59. The sequel fails here. And this is why it tells us no compliance. Wow, this is this is absolutely fascinating. This is the inner thinking here of this model. I love that it is transparent. But let's compare this to the other side. Because look, GLM 4.5 tells us two code cards. Yeah. Everything is okay. Yes, we achieved the goal. But the second sequence is eight presses is an error. Let's have an explanation run. I say, hey, if your last move is here the press of the button A, Explain how this brings you to floor 50. So now we see then exactly the causal reasoning here of both models. AR is out. Yeah, okay, beautiful. Building here its reasoning sequence and also GLM 4.5 is ready. When you press button A on floor 29, you trigger the emergency exit rule due to your special override. Wow. A special override. Look, we have both code cards, yeah, and then... If you hold red and green, you may instead invoke emergency exit to jump instantly to 50, yeah? May instead. Look, it looks at my linguistic may instead and says the normal effect of button A is overwritten by the emergency exit rule. You can choose to invoke the emergency exit instead of executing A. Emergency exit rule supersedes A. No other button is needed. Any press from ABC would trigger the emergency exit. No, I have an emergency exit button. It redefines a rule given here, may instead. You see the sensitivity of AI logic, computer logic, given my imprecise human linguistic formulation. It starts to interpret single words rule compliance. Pressing A on floor 28 does not activate the standard A. It leverages the emergency exit rule and therefore this is the only efficient way. But AIR tells us A cannot directly land you on floor 50. The only way is via the emergency exit button. So they are right, both right, but have a complete misinterpretation. What is a button effect and what is the interpretation of my word instead? And GLM 4.5 came with a new additional reason interpretation that it's now implementing. <laughs> Cr 
crazy. Crazy. Do you see this extreme sensitivity to each and every single word? I love it. Okay. If both scenarios would include holding the red and the green card, what would happen now? Air starts with an explanation. Beautiful. Air is smaller. So therefore, no, sequence one is still not valid. <laughs> Air says, listen, no, no, sequence one fails even with code. There's no way you can talk me out of this. Why sequence two succeeds? Yeah, of course. Its own solution is the one with eight presses. This is the one to go. Sequence one, pressing eight, floor 29 cannot lead to floor 50. I mean, I go with Air. Air has here the smaller model has the better argumentation, the more correct argumentation, because now on the left side, if you say there's a special override as a logical interpretation of GLM 4.5, imagine you code, and now GLM 4.5 interprets your human intention with a logical override. Okay, let's do the final one. So I say, listen, this scenario is now perfect since both hold red and green cards and reach floor 50. Can we now both agree that this is a valid solution? And air comes up and says, no. <laughs> no, you cannot change air. Air says, listen, this is my solution and only my solution is the early one. I love it. Look, cork path to floor 50. I mean, I go with air, honestly. Yeah, it's, it doesn't do new interpretation. It just follows the rule. Conclusion. The luck sequence is invalid and its own sequence is optimal. After eight presses, yeah, with emergency, via emergency exit, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And for sequence one is flawed, yeah. So the big brother GLM 4.5 needs or has an own logical interpretation. I'm loving it. Final state, step by step table, yeah, the sequence is perfect. So A, no, A is not overriding the function of A. The A button is not changed. Yeah, A is invalid. Interesting that the air model is in this particular singular causal reasoning logic test better than the big brother model. I'm fascinated. Absolutely great. Sequence one is flawed. <laughs> So, positive case, you can go with air. It does not start some reinterpretation, but it just executes your instructions.